I'm Debra and I'm with Camille Segazio of Segazio from Sonoma County. Uh, tell me exactly where it is in Sonoma County. So all of our vineyards are located uh, about an hour north of San Francisco. Sonoma County borders uh, Mendocino, Napa and the Pacific Ocean. Uh, our vineyards are located in Alexander Valley and Dry Creek, which for us, the real heart, the real benchmark of Zinfandel are those two appellations. Because you've made Zinfandel your, your flagship variety. We have made Zinfandel our flagship variety. That's what my grandfather planted uh, in 1895. We made it when it was the signature most important, most popular grape at the turn of the century. We made it after Prohibition when it wasn't so popular, and we're making it again, making it again today. Now, a lot of people aren't familiar with Zinfandel. It's, it's so popular in California. Why is it so popular? What is it about Zinfandel that Californians love? Zinfandel is popular because it's a it's a wine that you can um, you can you can drink fairly young. You don't have to age it a long time, and it's very food friendly. So it pairs very good food wine. You get uh, really ripe, good blackberry, blueberry, cherry, good spice with with Zinfandel. It makes it a fantastic food wine. It goes very well with grilled grilled barbecue, so Californians love to have it outside, um, but it's also a wine that can pair well with some rich dishes into the winter. Now, Zinfandel is a little bit tricky to grow, right? It doesn't ripen. It's one of the few grape varieties that doesn't ripen all at the same time. Yes, Zinfandel is an absolute nightmare. So uneven ripening means that in the same cluster you can have underripe green fruit and overripe more raisin port style of fruit. So your philosophy towards how you're going to farm it really drives not just the quality you have, but also the style you have. You can have leaner, greener zins, you can have overripe, more port amarone styles of zins, or you can be somewhere in the middle. With uneven ripeness, what does that bring to the bottle? Some people like having the underripe uh, uh, flavors, and so they feel that the acidity from the green fruit, they, they like that, and they like a leaner, greener, more mineral style of zin. Some people wait until the whole bit is ripe, at which point you just have some overripe fruit and some raisins, and you get more of a port amarone style of zin. And some producers like that style. We are in the middle. We don't want any green underripe fruit. We don't want any overripe fruit. We just want to capture morphologically ripe, balanced zin, which is the blackberry, blueberry, cherry, all this great spice. No underripe fruit and no overripe fruit. But that's got to be done by hand. You have to hand farm and you have to thin. So we do a lot of thinning on Zin, particularly this last vintage, which was a very big crop. You know, you, you've got to thin. And then the second thing is the grape is thin-skinned, so it's very delicate. So you get any kind of rain on Zin, you're immediately going to um, get raw. Dishes. So again, you're, you're, you're far, farming Zin is really the, 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 you know, the key to having some semblance of control over your, your quality. You have quite a few family members involved in the business, and you're one of the oldest families growing grapes, or the longest history of growing grapes in the county. Yes. How does it feel to carry that heritage? You know, it is a, uh, it's, a it's an amazing uh, business. I, I'm so proud to be in this family business. Um, the unique thing is that we actually all get along, and so my <laughs> brother's my boss. I just got an email from, from him now. Uh, my cousin Ted is in, in the cellar, um, and I think what's great is that we all love what we do and we all love our own area and there's no jealousy or thought about what's he doing we're all united in this in this kind of common goal and it's a lot of fun you know being in a family business you get a you get a level of commitment and trust that you know no one's going anywhere and um, so it makes for, it's a very intense passionate place to work and uh, I, I wouldn't be anywhere else. Where you make intense passionate wines. Yes exactly. <laughs> well great Camille thank you for your time. Thank you.